Another type of group comparison study and experimental study is a quasi-experimental study. If a scholar desires to determine the causality of an intervention or treatment within a population or establish a cause and effect relationship between an independent and dependent variable, he, she, or they may want to use a quasi-experimental design. Now, a distinguishing characteristic of a quasi or two distinguishing characteristics of a quasi-experimental design include manipulation, just like with a pre-experimental design, and control. Remember, manipulation is when a scholar manipulates the independent variable or implements an intervention to observe the effect on the dependent variable. And then control refers to the use of a comparison group. This can be a within comparison group in which the scholar looks at one group over a period of time, or it can be a between group in which a control or comparison group is used. So let's unpack this a little bit by looking at an example question. An example question with this type of design may be, what effect, if at all, does participation in the You Go Girl STEM program affect high school girls G STEM GPA while controlling for previous GPA or previous STEM GPA? So let's, how, what would a design like this look like? Let's uh, use an example with a between group design. So something important to note with a quasi-experimental design is the control is always a previously formed group because random assignment can't happen, which we'll talk about when we talk about experimental or true experimental designs. So in this case, let's say a school counselor wants to implement and understand the effect of the You Go Girl STEM program. She has two counseling groups with girls, one at one o'clock and one at two o'clock. So at one o'clock, she implements the You Go Girl STEM program. And at two o'clock, she does the traditional uh, group counseling program. She then compares these two, the uh, high school girls STEM GPA between these two groups to see if the You Go Girl STEM program, which she manipulated, which she's, um, which she's doing the intervention for, if that influences girls GPA over and above, let's say, or maybe it doesn't, um, the traditional program. Because, and something important to note here, because the, the researcher or scholar does, uh, uses previously formed groups, there are threats to validity. We can't say that the two groups that are being compared were equivalent before. Um, let's say, for example, maybe one, uh, the groups are not similar in ethnicity. They're not similar in their classification of, school, of special education services or weren't uh, equivalent to begin with uh, on GPA. So it's important that some type of control and that's not control group, but some type of con, uh, control or is, um, is used. So here you can see we use a control variable. We're gonna statistically, uh, we're gonna statistically control for GPA. And so we can basically use numbers to say, hey, the groups are equivalent. Um, example quasi-experimental designs, as I said, there can be within and between group uh, designs. There, for example, with in-group design that's often used as a quasi-experimental design is something called an interrupted time series design. Um, a between group design that's often used is what, what we would use with this, this example question is what's called a pre-test, post-test, non-equivalent control group design. So that's a little bit about quasi-experimental design.